Hey guys, Louis Allen here. So today I'm checking out the Mars SL75 STL Tone Hub preset pack. So I'm just going to run through some presets. I'm not going to fiddle with too many knobs. Uh, I'm just going to see what you get uh, with the basic pack uh, when you open it up. Uh, so my, the guitar I'm using is just like a humbucker single single shovel thing. So the first preset on here is called Crunch One. Uh, it sounds a little bit like this. Sounds really cool. It does remind me, um, I've played a little bit around with this already as you can hear from the little intro sequence with me shredding out. It is reminiscent of the Plexi on the Amp Hub, uh, but it's definitely got its own thing here. It's a little bit more gainy, it's a little bit more aggressive, which I personally like. All dimed. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a Pantera dime bag sound. Let's, let's have a go with this. <laughs> So I wouldn't say that's um, a dead-on dime bag sound, but I mean it definitely does the job for that kind of thrashy metal sound. Um, I love it. And do you know what I really love about this? And it's the same with all the STL stuff. It's got that real kind of response to it. It's like spongy and it kind of gives something back to you. Um, it's just really responsive to play with. It's not like a lot of plug-in stuff that you get is just really flat. Uh, it sounds digital. I can't, I don't get it with this. I get more of a organic feel when I play with this, um, certainly this preset pack anyway on the Tone Hub. So I actually found this preset the other day, the Gain One SD1, um, and I think this has got a stomp box. Yes, yeah, so this has got like, um, I guess it's meant to be like an SD1 boss pedal on it. Um, this is one of my favourite presets on the whole pack, by the way. Let's have a little play with this. So I wanted to mess with some of the cleaner tones on this as well because I've actually uh, used one of the old super leads and they are insanely loud by the way. <laughs> like, I don't know how anyone didn't go deaf from using one of those live. Uh, but it had some really cool clean sounds on it as well. Um, just that kind of broken up. <laughs> Thrash 2, I'm guessing that's pretty full on sound, right? <laughs> serious editing on this because uh, I'm sure no one really wants to hear that solo all the way through fluffed <laughs> like I just did. Another thing this pack does really well is it does the super heavy metal thrashy sound but it doesn't lose any character it's still really characterful it's not like and I'm not dissing boogies or anything like that but they've got such a clinical metal sound there's not there is character to it and you know I'm not saying there isn't but there's something cooler, I think, about that martial -y sound for that kind of music, for, for my personal taste anyway. Uh, and again, this pack really captures that, I think. So another sound that I found uh, during the week playing around with this was this one. Um, 
so obviously this has got like an overdrive um, on it as well. Again, I haven't messed with any of the settings. I've kind of left them as they are. Like I, I added a little tiny delay to the little um, Megadeth solo thing earlier just to cover up my mistakes. Uh, but everything else is just literally straight out of the box. <laughs> So yeah, I, yeah, another great sound on there. Again, if you get the chance to check this preset pack out, I would strongly recommend doing it. It's been so much fun for me to kind of rock out and do something slightly different from what I normally do. Um, there's a link actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, just below where you can buy that pack. Um, it will take you straight to the STL shop. So I'm gonna wrap the video up there. If you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe, it means a lot. Leave a like, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take it easy, bye.